Hey guys, I'm Phil the Blanks, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So we're finished all the uh, regular courses in the game, we're on to the DLC. Uh, these are courses I'm not as well versed in, uh, because I got the DLC, like, right before this friggin' game was announced, so I was like, ah, maybe I should have done that. So I only played them through, like, once or so. I'm gonna use Wendy Koopa. I like using the Koopalings, they're cool. Uh, and this is the, uh, Egg Cup? Or was it just Yoshi Cup? I don't know, it's Yoshi Egg symbol. Uh, but yeah, Wendy Koopa is uh, definitely a cool Koopaling. She's the only girl one. And, uh, I remember her in Mario 3 just being so damn difficult because of her stupid little... I guess they're her bracelets, but when I was a kid, I thought they were life preservers. Alright, Egg Cup. Yoshi Circuit from the GCN. That's something I will mention now. <laughs> so, GCN means GameCube. It's the GameCube. But why is it not NGC for Nintendo GameCube? Why is it GameCube Nintendo? I find that really, really weird. And, and like, is that just me? I don't know. I just find that really, really odd and really weird. Anyways, this is Yoshi Circuit from GameCube uh, Mario Kart, which is Mario Kart Double Dash. Uh, it's weird because the actual idea of the stage is stupid. It's like, oh, let's just make a level and it looks like a Yoshi. And sorry, that's not a super original idea, but it actually ends up being a really, really good track. Uh, it's gorgeous, too. Like, they didn't actually change all that much for this version from the uh, from Double Dash. So it already says, like, how just cool Double Dash's version looked. I, I love this level, though. It's very cool. Spikes here on Yoshi's back. Like a really kind of like wonky here, and then woo, around a saddle. It's just, it's just, it's a cool idea, and I'm surprised at how well it lends itself to an actual track. Like the the really cool straightaway here, followed by quick S turn into the end part. It's just cool. I am okay. I there we go. Okay, I hate not being able to see. Take that, Iggy. Can I keep my super horn at least for a little while? I'm gonna get blue shelled somehow. I still haven't gone back and gotten that gold for a uh, for special cup. I should probably do that. I don't think it really matters in the long run because I don't. I don't think this is like the first couple of Mario Karts where uh, yeah, that was yeah, I hit that. That was good. Um, I don't think it's like in Mario Kart for a Super Nintendo or 64 where when you beat them all, you get like a credit roll, like it, it like you beat the game. And I don't think it does that in this game, so, you know, there's no real point in getting gold and trying for that, like, end of game thing, so whatever. I still might do it just for fun, though. I haven't been playing this game a lot. Um, as, as, fun as, as fun as it is, it is, I mean, it's Mario Kart, it's super fun. I played the crap out of this. Is there a blue shell? I thought I saw, there it is. Hello. Boop. Um, as fun as it is, I played the crap out of it on the Wii U, so. While it's cool that the Switch version has all the stuff, that... I probably shouldn't have bought <laughs> right before it got announced because I'm an idiot. Uh, it's still it's still good. I just I played a lot of it on the Wii U, so it's not as a uh, not as cool or as memorable right now. Though the battle mode, the battle mode is very cool. I, I should probably get some friends together and actually play some battle mode, especially that shine grab stuff. That that was shine runners. I don't know what it was called. That was that was super fun. Oh, that was that was a bad turn. No, 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 hit him. Yeah. Take that, Peach. Ah, you bastard! Frig. Oh. Oh, well, I can deal with a second place win. Damn you, Iggy. Peach is like... Oh, yeah, you step off, man. <laughs> you want to see that. Where... Like, he just zoomed by. It was ridiculous. Take that. <laughs> it's revenge for that. Oh, it was Luigi through the blue shell. What an asshole. Ow. Oh, what a dick. That was a bad last turn, though. I'll, I'll chalk up my, my loss to that. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, he had, um... Oh, what is that thing? Where you're, He was drafting, so he was going faster because of that. Well, that blows, but whatever. I still got this. Oh, this is Excite Bike. Excite Bike Arena. This is a great idea for a level. Um, so, anyone who's, like, familiar with old-school Nintendo stuff, and I mean, like, old-school, like, mid-80s, uh, remembers the game Excite Bike, and I certainly do. I grew up with it, and it was a motocross game. It was super fun, and I like the music in this level is actually the Excite Bike theme. But what's really interesting about this level is that it's actually random. Whenever you load it up, it chooses a bunch of various set pieces from the original Excite Bike, 
and makes the level based off of that. And I'm like, that is just super cool. What a brilliant idea. It does mean that the, the level is kind of crappy for uh, speedrunning and like time trials and stuff, because it's random every time. And I know it's basically just, it's an oval, so it's not like, you know, crazy different. But uh, the amount of, of, of hops you get, I mean, look at that. Oh, well, if I had landed that, I would have gotten crazy boost. But uh, damn it. But uh, yeah, you get all this boost from the jumps. So the, I, I, I think it's the more jumps you have, the faster the level will go. So it must be super frustrating someone being like, oh, I'm a world-class Mario Kart player and I'm going to set a world record on friggin' Excite Bike." And then it being random can't help. Yay! That was really close to hitting me. I love being not in first place when a blue shell hits. Did it even hit? I want to see the... Oh, I didn't get to see the cool explosion. Oh, well, that was a waste. Who is in first? Oh, it's Peach. Okay. I'm okay with Peach being ahead of me. Um, I just can't have Iggy ahead of me. Don't see him on the map. He's probably... Yeah, he's right behind me. So, fun, uh, fun level. It gets a little... I wouldn't say boring. It's just, it's because it's an oval, so there's very little turns. So it quickly becomes into, like, just a match of who has the best items. But, I mean, that's kind of half the fun for a lot of Mario Kart levels, really. I mean, not so much single player. Uh, the items and stuff is super annoying when you're playing single player. When you're playing with friends, though, man, those items are awesome. What a fun thing. Like, you, you play four people at the same time, and then you're like, oh, I'm doing so good, and the blue shell hits you, and it's... It's, it's funner to be Mario Karted when uh, you're playing with friends than it is when you're playing by yourself. So, I think... It feels like Mario Kart games always choose, like, alright, this AI will be always behind you, this AI will always come in third, and they just kind of go from there to, to make it so that you have uh, an actual rival. Because if, like, if, they, if it was randomized every time, then, you know, if, as long as you're good and coming in near the first place, you'd always win. Um, but I have a feeling that Peach was supposed to... She's, like, the second-place girl right now, and Iggy's, like, the third-place person. So because of that, Iggy's actually doing really badly. Like, he's... Yeah, he's in fifth, which means now I'm way out in front. So that's awesome. So it's almost like I, I sabotaged Peach right at the very end of the last uh, last race, and that forced her to fall back from uh, her usual second place, but because she's, like, programmed to keep... If that makes any sense. I don't know. I'm kind of rambling. This is a Dragon Driftway. Great idea for a level. Um, weird, though. It doesn't feel like Mario Kart. This feels like something from Sonic Unleashed. And there was a level like this in Sonic Unleashed, actually. So that's what it reminds me of. It's still a great level, though. Like, the idea of the dragon is interesting. And you have seen that dragon before in Mario Galaxy. And I, I believe other Mario games, too. But uh, the whole anti-grav thing. Like, this is a very anti-grav level. And it's awesome. Like, we're already... Uh, I think we're on the... No, no, I think we're okay. There we go. Now we're on the side. Here. Whee! Super, super cool. It's hard to tell, actually. Especially when, like, levels like this where you don't have a lot of... Like, now you can kind of see the ground. Now I'm upside down. When there's not a lot of uh, ways to tell where... Like, you know, what side up you are because there's no... Uh, you can't see the ground. You can't see the horizon. So it's a little difficult. Yeah, back to normal. That's just a quick turn. It's a it's a fast level. It's it's turn heavy right at the beginning, uh, and then it's like a bunch of straightaways right at the end. So it's a little weird. Um, you better be really good at driving at the beginning of the level because that's where you're gonna make up a bunch of uh, a bunch of time with the from the computer. And then if you you know if they have really good items by the time you get to the straightaway, then you're kind of screwed. And I could just hit that because I'm an idiot. Ah, damn it. Was not careful with that. At least I didn't drop my horn, though. Just want to keep my horn. No! Yeah. I love how you can use it as a weapon. It's interesting. Oh, jeez. That was really close. Definitely a fun level. I love levels where you see the beginning of the level, but you're upside down. Um, F0 GX had that. I don't know what the name of the level, but it was, like, in, like, a lightning planet. So the planet was, like, in a perpetual storm. It was very cool. Very interesting. And you would, like, it was like a long, long straightaway. And uh, it would, like, turn about again. It was like a long straightaway again, but you'd be upside down and you could see the, uh, like, the beginning of the level above you. It was really cool. It was a really cool idea. It's a fast level, though. I'm already on my third lap. I feel, this lap. I feel like this level's going super quickly. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm, it's because I'm actually, like, holding first place fairly well. 
And there's no way it was faster than Excite Bike Arena. I mean, that was just an oval. Woo! That was good. You know, it, it's a random thing, but I like how they didn't change the um, the look of the Koopa Kids. Except for, like, Iggy, I think they changed a little bit, because now he has green hair, and it's a lot uh, higher than it was, and I think he's taller now. But the basic design of all the Koopalings are pretty much identical to what they were when they were introduced in Mario 3. And I love that. It's it's really cool. Like, Wendy Okupa has, like, the really big pink bow and, like, really large bracelets. That's very 80s. But it's cool that she still has it in this. Ah, Mute City from F-Zero. So instead of giving us an F-Zero level, I guess, or F-Zero game, and it was like, oh, just give them F-Zero uh, a level in Mario Kart and that'll be good. And don't get me wrong, it's a really cool idea and it is a super fun level. It's kind of frustrating because I'd rather just have an actual... You know, F-Zero game. I really do like F-Zero. I'm not good at them by any stretch of the imagination, but they're super fun, and they're very, like... They're very skill-intensive. In like, it's it's all about how good you are at the game, not, you know, I got a red shell. And I don't know if this play... Or, Blaze Blue. I don't, I've been playing a lot of Blaze Blue lately because I've got a tournament coming up. But uh, it, I don't think this Big Blue level is based off of... Uh, any specific big blue, like the actual course design. Not 100% sure on that, though. Yeah, I can't put my finger on it. If anything, it's probably... Oh, damn. If anything, it's probably uh, GX because of the amount of turns and stuff there are. But, I mean, this also very well could be... No, I was going to say it could be a, a, a redo of, like, the original Super Nintendo F-Zero. But I don't think F-Zero for the Super Nintendo had any, um, any tracks were that the track would cross over. Like here, like I'm going over the um, the track right now. But I don't think that you can actually do that in the original F-Zero because of the way it was designed. I'm not sure though. Oh, definitely a fun level. It's 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 definitely crazy looking. It feels so out of place in Mario Kart, but it, at the same time, it feels so right. Really, really fun. Is that Daisy ahead of me? Yeah, it is. Yeah, the computer's being really wonky and uh, inconsistent, this this cup. Like, no one's... It's not always the same people behind me, but whatever. Makes it easier for me to, to win in the long run. Oh, that was dumb of me. That was really stupid. Oh, no, not a bullet... Ah, bullet bills. And stupid babies. It's always stupid babies. Wow, Iggy's, like, way behind me now. Whee! Oh, uh, no, there he is. Damn. Oh, wow, I'm doing really, really, really badly. Oh, jeez. Ugh, crap. Why does it always happen on the last lap, too? There we go. Everyone take out everyone else for me. Thank you. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Come on. Still got a ways to go. Still got a ways to go. Oh, no, here it is. That's the end. Never mind. Oh, okay. Holy crap. Whatever. Second place is pretty good. Third place would be fine, too, but... Oh, wow. Okay, that could have been a lot worse. A lot, a lot worse. Whew. Did that mean... Yeah, I still won by a fairly large margin. That was a... That was a crazy last lap. Jeez. And uh, that means we only got three cups left, and that is the entire game. Having fun, though. Having fun. That is the egg cup. Okay, we're doing Dragon Drift Way. Woo! Yeah, I actually did really well on this level, I guess. Oh, never mind. I just hit banana peels everywhere. But I took a peach, so I was happy. Woo! It's so weird that the camera, like, keeps, like, regular, up, like, right side up. So everything looks really, really wonky when it's just like, I'm going to be upside down. <laughs> Not too bad. Two second place things, especially considering how crazy Mute City was going. Uh, well, that's kind of a boring trophy. Look at that. Oh, look, it's got the egg on it. That's dull. Mark Hart, professional kart racing. Oh, it's professional kart racing. Did we get paid for this? I thought it was amateur. I don't know. Alright, let's do um, let's do some battle mode. I think I've only got one area for battle mode left. I forget. Yeah, be a baby. 
If I'm gonna lose, I might as well be a baby when I lose. This is a weird... What the hell is that car? Yep, it's my new car now. I want... Yeah. Actually, that's pretty cool. Nice. Um... I've done all these, haven't I now? I'll just do... Yeah, I'll just do random. No, I, want, I like Shine Thief too much. Oh, I've done, okay, so I, I did, haven't done Luigi's Mansion, and I am i haven't done the Splatoon one yet. I got two more. One more after this. I guess if I'm going to play in this, I might as well play something I, I really do enjoy, and I, I, I love the Sprite, the Shine Sprite stuff. It's really cool. Let's see if I can win this again. I think that was the only one, the only battle mode I've won that's not like a team mode thing, because I'm just kind of garbage at battle mode. <clears throat> oh, Shine Thief. Was it si Shine Runners in another game? That must have been Double Dash. I don't know. Damn you, Roy. Well, that was no uh, no items for me. So I wonder how long this one's going to be. I guess... Uh, I guess... Um, the uh, Shine Thief mode has the biggest opportunity to be going on like really long because I mean if ev like ever you need to hold on to the shine for 20 seconds and if every wow if everyone has it for 19 seconds that's like the longest it can go there's what 12 people here at least eight yeah it's 12 or maybe 10 I don't know trying to like look at the map and count and like know where I'm going it's doing fairly well for me considering I've got the shine yeah it must suck to be playing in, like, battle mode where, like, one guy gets the shine and just keeps away the entire time. It's like, wow, that was, uh, that was dull. Link, stay away from me. I'm doing really good. Halfway there. Ah, crap. Uh, where is it? Damn you, Link. And Dry Bowser. Also, Dry Bowser is another weird one. Like, hey, it's the animated corpse of another character. Yeah, that's right. Good. Good old Baby Mario. I've always loved Baby Mario. No, I'm, sorry, I'm just joking. I hate the babies. Ah, damn you, Dry Bowser. So what's the point of the feather? Like, I get the feather was from the first Mario Kart, but, like, how is that going to help you in battle mode? Like, woo, I jumped. Ah, damn you, Roy. Come back, Roy. Oof, wow. When everyone's going after you, it's so crazy. Oh, Larry's smart. He went the other way. But it looks like he lost it already? I can't tell. Yes, he did. Baby Peach! As long as the babies don't win, I'm happy. And, yeah. Oh, that didn't count. Crap. Come on. Hit her. Hit her. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. Oh, why would it go backwards? And. Mine, 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 mine. Yes. Okay. Get out of here. Ah, oh, damn it. Wow, it goes so fast. And smack you. Oh, how did I miss that? Eh, ow. Crap. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice. I was invincible for like a split second right after I got that shrine. Or shrine. Why do I keep calling that? Shine. Two, one, and yeah. There we go. Oh, I just realized I said I'll be okay if none of the babies won, but now the baby won because I'm the baby. <laughs> oh, I like how the points are all about who has it, like, for how long you have it. So that's pretty cool. Anyways, I'm Full Blanks. I'll see you guys next time for more Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. See you guys later. So yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. Check out my other content on my YouTube channel where you can find Let's Plays, speedruns, and reviews of other games.